That word of revel revelation is apocalyptos, which means an unveiling. But, you know, a revelation brings about a revolution. Mm. A revelation brings about a revolution. A revelation changes you. See, that's why it's not about getting information. Right. Sometimes we can, we can get a lot of information on television. We can even get a lot of information in church. Mm -hmm. But re information doesn't change anything. Right. Information fills your cerebral cortex, but a revelation changes your life. Exactly. And once I begin to get the revelation of who, who I was in the Lord, then I realized that, it, that what I was told and what I was experiencing was not who, uh, who I was. And I, and I really got that revelation and it set me free. Amen. It Amen. really set me free. And so no, we, we're here to tell you, no matter what you're going through, Amen. no matter what you're experiencing, you are not the sum total of what you're experiencing. That's right. And, and what the enemy will do sometimes is when you're about to make a decision, he wants you to begin to think about and add up all of your experiences that were negative. Yeah. Because at the deliberation table of life, experience shows up, tradition, reason, everything that you've been through all shows up. And the enemy wants you to make a decision based on that information. Mm, mm, mm. But there's Amen. another set of information that yes, we have that's God. higher than what we've gone Amen. through, that's higher than what we've experienced. Amen. And so when, when you understand that, you can begin to make decisions from heaven to the earth and not from the earth to heaven. Amen.